hello and welcome back to another youtube video my name is lauren if you're new i just finished filming a amazon favorites video so keep a lookout for that if it's not already up on my channel i don't really know if it's going to be up before this vlog or after so if it's up i'll link it and if it's not keep a lookout for it but i just finished filming all of my amazon favorites so I need to clean this up. So I've been trying to film that video for like a few weeks, probably like almost a month. Like a month and a half ago, I wanted to film it. So I've been trying to film it for a really long time. It's done, hopefully it turns out good. I haven't edited yet, so it's probably good. Yeah, I don't really have anything planned for the day. The only thing I did have planned was filming this video. So I don't really have much planned. Maybe I'll just relax. Christian and I started Squid Games last night and what? We are so late, I know. Please don't judge. I don't really like watch shows or TV or anything. I kind of just watch YouTube. And the reason that I watch YouTube is because I can like pick up wherever I want and watch whatever I want and stop and the videos are not too long. So I don't really watch a lot of shows and shows just like can't keep my attention i don't know maybe some of you can relate but i know a lot of people just like love shows and tv and stuff and movies and i just i can't i can't i used to be able to but i just can't so we started squid games and i just am like i was watching it and like the whole last like 15 minutes i feel like i was like tense the whole time i was like locked up and my like jaw was like clenched and it's just weird and then i heard that the ending's weird so let me know your thoughts we only got through one episode but maybe we'll like continue and watch a second episode tonight or something i don't know i'm gonna put this stuff away and we'll see what what i do today or get into okay i'm making one of our favorite snacks and it's really easy all you need is this is one sweet potato and you just cut it up into little chips and then you spray it or drizzle it with avocado oil everything but the bagel seasoning garlic powder and then you cook it in the oven at 450 for 20 to 30 minutes depending on how crispy you like them and then you mash up avocado with more everything but the bagel seasoning and you put it on top and it is so good so I'm gonna make a little bit of this for us to snack on but it's so good you have to try this recipe i got it from i'll put her name on the screen i discovered the recipe probably about a year ago and we love it but i'll put her name on the screen where i found it she posts a lot of healthy recipes as well so i'll put her name there just in case you want to go look at her instagram and try some of her recipes but you should definitely try this recipe from her so good in the car going I have a I clean up my closet a little bit and I have a bag to take to Plato's closet I also need to go to Target and get or I can go to Publix or any grocery store and get more bone broth I am on the bone broth these days I've only been doing it for a week so I really can't say much but started doing the bone broth every morning and the way that I take it might be kind of gross but I just Bone broth is easier to take than apple cider vinegar. Yes, definitely. I still take apple cider vinegar at night, but bone broth, like it doesn't taste terrible and the way that I take it or drink it actually doesn't taste bad at all. So I mix one cup of bone broth in a glass and then another cup of water and I heat it up in the microwave and squeeze half a lemon over it so it's like my morning lemon water and my bone broth combined in a glass and the lemon water mixed with it makes it like really easy to drink so if you don't like the taste of bone broth and you want to try out my little concoction of it try it out it's not bad i 
been drinking it every day. Haven't noticed obviously any change. I like it. So I'm gonna continue taking it because there's no harm in taking it. I saw Vital Proteins had a bone broth powder, I think, but I just go to the store and pick up like a container of bone broth. I'll show which one I take or have been picking up. It has collagen in it, so I'm actually kind of excited about that. And it has protein and it's just really good for you. So look into it. But yeah. I was trying to go to an ATM, but that ATM isn't working. Oh well. I just finished running on my errands or taking my clothes to Plato's closet and running to Target and stuff like that. This lighting is so weird. So I was just doing all that stuff and now I'm running back home and then we're gonna figure out what we're doing for dinner. But I'll show you the bone broth that I got. I'm sorry, this lighting is so strange. Um, I'll show you the bone broth that I got when I get back home, but I wanted to deposit the cash that I got from Plato's closet, but I guess the ATM isn't working. Maybe it will work tomorrow. I'm gonna drive back home. I'm gonna like... Okay, that was not legal. Okay. Okay, I'm back home now. This is the bone broth that I've been trying and using. It has good ingredients. I just wanted to share what I've been doing. This is what it says. Naturally occurring collagen, no salt added, nine grams of protein, paleo friendly, gluten free. So. Eola General. I've never been. It's like a bagel and coffee shop, but they also have vegan stuff. So I'm kind of excited because I kind of want to try like a vegan bagel sandwich with like vegan cream cheese and all that stuff. So that's what we'll be doing this morning. I have not slept well in a really long time and it's really taking a toll on me. If you saw my last vlog, then you know that I've like had like I bought a new pillow and I just have, I wake up with neck pain, shoulder pain, back pain. I'm sorry guys if I'm rubbing off on you because I know that sometimes if I'm like around people that like are just kind of negative, I'm not trying to be negative, I'm just sharing what's going on because if I didn't share it then I wouldn't be, I guess being real with you guys. I'd be like hiding and like pretending that everything's okay but it's just like not right now and I'm just like really, really 
really tired and I feel really drained. I might take next weekend off of vlogging because I'm just like burnt out. Just a little bit burnt out. I just like really need to find a good pillow because I'm just like in pain and I'm not sleeping well. And like over time that just like takes a toll on you. So we'll see what ends up happening. But the pillow that I got last weekend, no, it's a no-go. It's like a no, I can't. It's too like high up. It's like too firm and I'm really just discovering, I guess pillows that work for me and pillows that don't work for me. Just, you know, trying to get a good night's sleep because we spend half of our lives sleeping and it's important to get a good night's rest. I don't even know where I'm going. I need to put this GPS in. I just got out of Target and this is the pillow that I ended up picking up. Um, I'm hoping that it's good. It's for side and back sleepers, I think. Yeah, and they have a 90 day return policy. So if it doesn't work out, then I can always return it. But I really hope that this works out and I get a good night's sleep. Okay, so I have a lot of creamers in here and they're all the nut pods creamers. My manager, I got her on the cinnamon swirl nut pods. So good. I also got my friend Taylor on it. But the reason that I have so many is because my manager and I split a pack of 12 on Amazon. So I ended up going with the almond and coconut creamer because I recently found out that the oat creamer that nut pods sells has... What is it? Sunflower oil in it, which is super inflammatory. And the almond and coconut creamer doesn't. So I'm trying to actually steer away from the cinnamon swirl oat creamer because of that. That's one of the main reasons why I switched oat milks is because of the oils that they put in the oat milks and the creamers. That's super inflammatory. I started following this account on Instagram probably a year ago and it was all about like checking the labels for certain things and the one thing that I always like to check the label for which I don't even know how I missed it on this is oils so sunflower oil I don't know how I missed it I'm still gonna finish this off but after that it's gonna be just the almond and coconut creamer so <laughs> but I'm pretty much stocked these have gums in them which is also pretty bad but they're, they stay good for a little while. Like, this is good until May of next year. So, it's, it's okay to stock up because they stay good. But I did want to share that and then show how many I have because it's actually kind of embarrassing how many I have in my fridge. I have not stopped moving today. I am now at Bed Bath & Beyond to return the pillow that I got last weekend. So... Let's see how this goes. I talked to the manager on the phone and he said that he'll accept it. So I'm gonna go do this now. Okay, I just got home from running all of my errands. It's like only 5.30, 5.24, and it is dark outside almost. Like the sun is going down. I know you can't really tell. We also have like a little light around, but like, it's so dark and this is the time that I get out of work. So it really messes with me when I leave work and it's dark outside and I'm like, the day's done. Mm -hmm. 